Good evening. Welcome to St. Joseph Parish on this, the Feast of All Souls. We remember those who have gone before us in faith and are gathered into God's reign forever. Our entrance hymn is number 460, I Heard the Voice of Jesus Say, number 460. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your we celebrate the Feast of All Souls. We ask God to be with us as we remember our brothers and sisters who have died. I confess to Almighty God and to, to you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Christ, have mercy. Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, as our faith in your Son raised from the dead is deepened so that our hope of resurrection for our departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if before men indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them. 
and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live 
in this newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be reunited with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. The word of the Lord. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus answered the Jews and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, The hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to his Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave himself power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. The Gospel of the Lord. Yesterday, we celebrated the Feast of All Saints. We recognized how happy we are that some of our human race have entered heaven and been declared saints. Some of our human race have entered heaven and received what God promised to the just and the poor in spirit, as our reading yesterday said from the Beatitudes. But today, we shift our prayer to those who have died and who are not declared saints. Heaven is not necessarily the immediate reward at the time of our death. It's a process. 
whether we want to acknowledge that or not, we call it purgatory. It's not an immediate entrance. It's a time of transition. The Catechism says, all who die in God's grace and friendship, but imperfectly purified, are indeed assured of their eternal salvation, but after the death they will go through purification so as to achieve the holiness necessary to enter the joy of heaven. Today, we not only remember and think about our loved ones who have died, especially in our parishes this past year, but we pray for them. We don't pray for the saints. We pray to the saints. We do not pray to the dead. We pray for the dead. Souls in heaven need no prayers, and souls in hell can't be helped with any prayer. Do you know it's a natural and obviously a good and holy thing to be sad when one of our loved ones dies? But it's also good and holy to pray for them in their ongoing journey to salvation. As long as I can remember, until I left home, and I still do this, my sister and I just two weeks ago, we went to the cemetery on All Souls to pray for our parents and our grandparents pray that God accepts them into heaven. We don't go there to praise them. We pray for them. You know, the sacraments of reconciliation and Eucharist and anointing play a central role in that whole journey. There is a waiting line for all of us to go to heaven. And that line starts here. If our loved ones are still in waiting lines, our prayer assists them. If they've already entered the kingdom of heaven, our prayers are in the bank, so to speak, to assist us when we die. You know, the prophet Isaiah wrote in chapter 4, 64, he said, Lord, you are the father. We're the clay. You are the potter. We are all work of your hands, not ours. We are all a work in progress. We're all on our way. It starts here, and it goes to the next phase when we die, and then judgment. So let us remember our brothers and sisters who have progressed before us. Mary Beck, Marie Restoffer, Mary Shackle, Jason Beach, Gertrude Simon, Alan Hemley, Marv Mickles, Rosemary Donlinger, Mary Cheney, Janice Meyer, Algeen Booty, Don Monner, Betty Stecklin, Gloria Storm, Robert Hutchkoff Sr., Roberta Oberman, David Jacobs, Mary Coos, Mary Jo Heyer, Milton Goner, 
Nathan Schmidt, Robert Hughes, Amy Kilberg, Gladys Bauman, Carol Jean Feller, Sarah Smith, Kathy Lombardi, Marcine Igenhaus, Donnie Sieverding, Mary Ann Upman. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. For all holy women and men who have gone before us, let us pray to the Lord. For those in our country and world who, re who are responsible for peace, justice, and freedom, let us pray to the Lord. For all who die alone and feel unloved, let us pray to the Lord. For all those whose grief, the loss of loved ones, that they will be blessed with healing and acceptance, let us pray to the Lord. For the ill and for those near death, and for the fearful, let us pray to the Lord. For those who have passed away within this past year who are remembered at this Mass, that they may know the fulfillment of God's promise of eternal life and everlasting joy. We pray to the Lord. Song for the preparation of the gifts is number 692, Precious Lord, Take My Hand, number 692. Just go. Just 
now my brothers and sisters that my gifts and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him, the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us <coughs> the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, <coughs> giving thanks, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Pope Francis, 
our Bishop Michael and all the clergy. We remember our brothers and sisters who have died, those remembered in this Mass. Grant that they who were united to your Son in death, like his, may also be one one day in resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Our song for communion is number 349, I am the bread of life, number 349.
us forgotten and poor, you shall have everlasting rest. After Mass, families are welcome to take candles for their families. Please be aware of the wax. They may not quite be melted over, so we don't have the wax all over. Let us pray. Grant, grant we pray, O oh Lord, that your departed brothers and sisters for whom we have remembered at this Mass, may pass over to the dwelling place that you have planned for all of us in light and peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 576, I Know That My Redeemer Lives, number 576.